Like, already wasting that many resources in a stage like this is not good. Not a good prospect for the other levels. But yeah. It happens. I'm still surprised by how long the game is. Like, this game seems longer than, than Shinobi 3, for example. And it's weird because it's... Like, the fact that you only have... Well, you have no continues. Like, it's basically framed as an arcade game. Except that it doesn't have the length of an arcade game. It's a lot longer than that. So that's quite a mistake, I feel. Kinda reminds me of Ristar, but at least Ristar had the decency of having continues. But this game doesn't, for some reason. What happens if I go left instead of right with this drill? I don't think there's anything to drill here though. No, but there is a TV. That isn't very worth it really. Restart. Maybe I could play that game later today. Because basically I was thinking like after this game, if I were to play another game today, it will either be Restart or uh, Revenge of the Shinobi. But you know, Revenge of the Shinobi, I feel like... <laughs> Gonna go even worse than this. Cause that game is hard. So in that it's better to control my my salt intake. You know. There's nothing on the left in this place, right? Oh wait, there is! Hmm, I really wonder what's in there. Doesn't seem that easy to access it, because it has like some weird ledge that will kinda stop you. It's also very weird with this game is the the how bosses are distributed through the game. You have a boss right at the first stage, and then you have like the stage two is a boss in itself. So it's quite weird the way that's the case. I receive a... Oh, uh, come on! Oh, uh, that sucks. I mean, I'm not gonna reset shoes for that, but... I hate this stage so much. Might be better to not even concentrate on shooting the shits on the sides. I mean, except at the beginning when there are so many of them, but... There's nothing there. I still am not sure why you cannot jump down. I'm 
not sure for example. Oh, you can shoot. Okay. That's a good healing. I, I want to explore these places because I feel like there might be a health upgrade at any point here. And having a health upgrade will really help me survive more. But if there, are, if there is no health upgrade, I will just be exploring nothing, essentially. I'm still not sure how we are supposed to get past the wall here to go to the left. I'm not even sure if that's a, a wall. I mean, it is a wall, but I don't know if you're supposed to break it there or if you're supposed to go to, to enter from above. I don't know. Anytime there is a place like that, I just cannot enter it. Understand how the shortcuts work here. The, well, the shortcuts, I mean the checkpoints. I guess what happened in stage 6 was a bug then. Like I wasn't supposed to spawn at the beginning of the stage. How did it happen? So I wish that. Racing through these stages was easier. It's not really uh, as easy to shoot. Oh, that's how you blow up the door. What happens if I go all the way to the left? What? Wait, I cannot jump. What does this do? Well, that's a very nice way to assassinate your eyes, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. It's like a screen clear. Doesn't seem very useful when there are other power-ups that pretty much make you invincible for, like, like this one. But yeah, I'm not sure... Not sure how a screen clear will be any more useful. At least it looks cool. I guess might be the the most important thing. Oh wait, ah oh, damn it. It's okay. It, it probably didn't have anything important anyways. Since last time I went on the right side here, maybe now I can go to the left side. Through the left side and to the top. I don't know if it's particularly hard. Oh, I already get a fish. Well, okay. <laughs> maybe it's not harder. Okay, pretty cool. Have some nice progress very very easily oh. I can also enter this place nice a health upgrade okay 
So this place on the left has a health upgrade. That's very useful to know. You can also get a health upgrade here. So you need to go through the left in this stage and you get a free health upgrade. Then you get another one on the bamboo zone. In fact, the bamboo song has two very useful secrets. One is an extra life and the other one is the, the additional health. So that's very nice. I don't pretend like there's gonna be another one here. I think that giving you one is already generous enough, you know? Ah, fuck. That's fine, that's fine. Boom. Well, the good thing is that here... I also should be able to... To do this a lot safer. Because he's gonna hit me three times. But he's gonna hit me three times with five points of hell remaining. But with five points of health total, I mean. So that's not bad at all. As long as the bear doesn't get too cocky, I should be fine. But let's see what Mr. Bear has to say about this. Oh. At least Mr. Bear... Ah, oh, fuck you. I was gonna talk good about you. It would be nice to have a, a health bar for the bosses, so that way I could know if I'm dealing damage. Assuming that he hasn't died yet, it's safe to assume that he isn't. You could look down better. He's down there. Oh, hello. Uh, you can hit me, bro. Oh, wait, I can shoot down like this. So for some reason, some of my shots are staying in me there. Not sure what's the meaning of that. And it's like it doesn't let me shoot more while those are there. That, that was weird. I guess they didn't want you to chase him that much. I mean, well, that's fine, but I still chase him quite a lot, you know. So I, I don't know if your plan worked. The problem is that right now I need healing. Am I gonna die the same way again? No. Thankfully, no. So the healing that I got is very mediocre. So that's fine. Yeah, I'm getting very mediocre healing right now. Quite mediocre. See, that's better healing. I wonder if one of the healing orbs is random. Because one of them definitely feels random. Like sometimes it gives you more and sometimes it gives you less. So maybe they should look very similar. Even if this looks amazing, this effect of the water going down, I can imagine that it's not very nice on the view rate of the stream. <laughs> but hey, that's fine. There's not much you can do. Oh, 
Why is this satellite shining? I suppose to destroy it. Doesn't look like it. Oh, this thing again. Him in the rear. Nice. Oh. Now I wonder if the hard difficulty, like for example, heals you a lot more, uh, a lot less, not a lot more. And also probably the fact that you don't get extra lives from score. Probably something like that. Okay, so a couple of things to remember here. There is an extra life at the very beginning, if you go to the left, and at the end there is a health upgrade right before the boss. Those are the things that I have to keep in mind. This extra life is super straightforward. Nothing. That's the second time I forgot that turret was there. Extra life is there. I just need to go all the way up. So be careful with the bugs. Annoying bugs are everywhere. I also would like to know what happens if I don't go down here. We'll have to wait until the drill. Well, I try waiting until it run out and I fail. Well, another alternative is not picking up the drill. Hey, I wonder what it is. If you don't fall, I'm assuming there is nothing out of the ordinary. Maybe some photons or that. I don't know. Pick up anything? It didn't look like I picked up anything at all. Oh, here I did pick up something. There is this thing orbiting around me. Doesn't seem that useful or useful at all. Uh, come on. God damn it. Wait a second. Isn't this the boss room? Oh, so that means that I missed the upgrade? Well, that's fucked up. If I don't go all the way up... So the upgrade is very missable. The thing is that... I will die to this boss to pick the upgrade, but it's gonna send me back to the beginning of the stage. I think I rather not, you know. Whether I like it or not, I keep dying to this asshole. Well, at least the checkpoint this time, it recognized it. I don't know why it didn't recognize it last time. I'm not even sure what it counts as checkpoints. 
So here you're supposed to go higher if you want to pick up the, the health upgrade. Like all the way to the top. Well, this is as high as you can go. So here what you want to do Get this health upgrade. And I don't know what's in here. Oh, a shotgun. Well, maybe this is gonna help me obliterate the boss a lot faster. But I don't even know if bosses get any difference in damage. For, for what I know, bosses just receive damage in one. I don't think the shot changes the damage you deal. So it, it will change, obviously, the chances of him getting hit. I mean, it's obviously better than using this pea shooter. I can't believe it. And this boss is so easy. I can't believe he killed me twice. I mean, one time here and one time in a previous run. Him is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Oh, what a... What a nice stage. At least this stage... The key of this stage is to pretty much... Like, it's better to receive more damage than it is to dodge these guys. Like, dodging these guys is counterproductive if you're not dealing any damage. I kill them pretty fast. Sometimes they feel like going to the bottom of the stage and never going up. And since you can only shoot forward, you can never shoot them. And since you don't really have too much time, eventually the time runs out and you lose. Even though surviving the fight is very easy. But you know, that's the thing with those... With those stage boss fights, uh, the difficulty is killing them on time, rather than killing them. The, the killing part is not hard, but it's, it, it's gotta be on time. I didn't pick up, but I also got damage. So it did the sound effect as if I picked it up, so I'm not sure. Going down. how hard this game is if you actually try to pick every single TV in every stage. I will assume that the game will be pretty pretty hard but at the same time you probably will get a lot of resources that will make your survival easier. Probably. Fuck that TV. Just that it's in such an awkward place. Well, and the only thing it has is photons. Nice. Well, some stations don't have a lot of TVs, but some others have quite a lot. One stage that I gotta be careful with is 
There is a stage that is also a just a boss fight, but that boss fight, it, like, it kind of turns you into a tornado and you're supposed to fight while you dodge tornadoes and shit. It's a little bit weird. But aside from weird, it's also hard to beat it on time. So yeah, that's the main problem. What's on the other side here? Photons! What is in here? It's a full healing. Sometimes the full healing items look exactly like a health upgrade. It's hard to tell sometimes. Once you pick it up, you will know if it's an upgrade or not. But until then, it leaves you wondering. I think you're supposed to drill through that. And here is the drill. Again with this weird power up. Like it's something that orbits around you, but I guess this is only useful when you fight against those insects, like these insects here. Those bugs. Aside from that, I don't see this being useful against anything. Is it gonna give me a motorcycle? No. How do I break that? I'm not sure. Also, the boss of this stage is very weird. For a change, you know? I see, bosses in this game weren't weird by default. Oh, here he comes, by the way. This boss is some weird shit. But yeah, it's okay. I mean, it fits right in uh, the game. If anything, if it wasn't weird, it wouldn't fit in the game. But yeah, I don't know. It's especially... I guess the weird part... Is that yes, it is weird like the other bosses in the game, but since the game has, wants to have like this dark atmosphere and shit like this, these are the kind of weird bosses that are just goofy. They are not really the kind of weird that is unsettling or something like that. They are just the goofy kind of weird. That you will find in, I don't know, a Disney platforming game or some shit like that. But whatever. And again, it wouldn't be the first or last time that a game that tries to be more or less dark has a goofy boss. Well, obviously it came much later than this game, but I remember... Well, then again, I, I was gonna mention Devil May Cry 3, but... The thing about that game is that... It, it doesn't... I mean, you can say that it has an, a dark atmosphere because of demons and all of that, but it's more like... You know... It, 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 it's not really dark in the same way this game is dark, you know? It's hard to explain with words, I guess. But yeah, even my Cry 3 did have some goofy bosses. Like that... Uh, what was his name? The... I think it was a harlequin or... Well, I don't know how that word is pronounced, but something like that. Hey Yannick, how is it going? 
Why are you a slot? What happened? Are you a slot? Oh, the... Speaking of Goofy... The Goofy has flying... Power up. You learned the slot dance? I didn't even know that slot school dance. Or move, for that matter. Considering that, well, the whole reason why they are called that way is because they pretty much have the same willpower to leave as the biggest ammo you know. Oh yeah. They can, but half Shinies can. Well, I haven't seen Shanta turn into a slot yet. Oh no, this boss! Well, I mentioned it before and now it's here. This boss sucks. This boss is really foul. This is the kind of boss that... I mean, it wouldn't be a problem if it at least made sense, like, what's going on, right? But what, what is going on doesn't make sense, so that's part of the problem. Also, it seems that you have no iframes during this fight. So essentially, if you start getting hit, you won't stop getting hit. This is kind of an issue. Fucking tornadoes! And there are so many tornadoes here. And it feels like they give you even less time to beat this asshole compared to other boss fights of the same type. Him. And just like one of my previous runs, I also beat him with one second left. God damn, dude. Hey, that, that, that boss fight is fucked up. That boss fight is just fucked no matter what. Know what they were thinking with it, but I mean, they were probably thinking the same thing as with every boss fight in this game, and that is nothing, <laughs> but that's fine. Wait, what did I turn into? A missile? Who are we? Oh, what the hell? Was that supposed to happen? I pretty much just... Oh, I got... Damn, I got three extra lives? I pretty much clipped through the wall there. I guess... Well, I'm, I'm assuming it was supposed to happen. I will take it, though. Problem is that that seems super hard to reproduce. In fact, I, I don't even know if it was intentional. But yeah, good luck replicating that. So because of that, this has to be the run. I cannot let this run go to waste. But at the same time... I don't even know. Like, I, I think that my PV was a stage 14. I don't even know how many stages after that there even are. I can expect a lot more. I don't know. Well, that's the thing. I don't know what to expect. I can expect anything. Oh yeah, the end of the stage was up here, wasn't it? I think. Oh yeah, this little shit blocking the exit. Oh, but you could just go up here instead. Oh, you were supposed to go up there. Also, I have seven extra lives. That's very good. The next stage is 13, right? 
the dark ruins. And then the next stage, I think it's the one that I that I died. The the furthest that I got. Problem is that the next stage is very long. But being long is not the only problem. It also has a problem that the boss is relatively challenging. And that's because just like that just like that level that you go through frozen water the instead of one boss well and instead of two the, there is three of them obviously it's not like they account like each one of them is as hard as a full boss but it's still you know it's very easy to fuck up Wait, is there something on the left? Yeah, well, there is a wall. That is, that is indeed something. But yeah, no, not what I was looking for, particularly. Oh, there is a... a TV. I still don't know what those things do. I, at first I thought they gave me extra time, but I think that the time pickup is... Uh, it looks different. I'm not sure what those pyramid pickups that don't have a clock in them are supposed to be. Wait, am I in the wrong place? Wait, where? Oh. Okay. The mythical invisible wall. Gotta love those. Well, there is no invisible wall here, it seems. Oh, this. I don't really like this gun. Cause it feels like it's worse than even my my regular pea shooter, which is already bad. This one just seems even worse. So I'm not supposed to go there. I mean, there is a TV. I I'm very curious to see what this TV has, but it seems relatively hard to shoot. Oh, it's an extra life. Nice. Well, I gotta... I, I had to assume they would give me something like that. And to go up, I actually think I need to go in there. Because I don't think that there is an exit to the sides. Like, you can jump there, but it seems like I could... Yeah, you can clip through that for some reason. Ah, uh, what a bitch. He didn't drop anything. Okay. I will need some... Ah, oh, damn, I, I can't stop getting hit. Pretty cool. Yeah, I will need some healing right about now. Uh, and here I need to shun, but they are... There are bugs up there. Uh, okay, I need that healing. Would have been better. But I can't be picky right now. What is this? Oh. This thing is what... <laughs> what you use at the beginning of Vector Man 2. You land in a planet using something similar to that. Man. I don't know how other people feel about it, but to me Vector Man 2 is such a downgrade compared to this game. Really. Okay, how am I supposed to kill that piece of shit? Seems hard to... I guess jumping like that works. Right. 
This level seems like it has a lot of things like that where you need to climb to get out of where you are. Nice. Well, resource-wise I'm doing pretty well, but again, the, around here the game is a little bit unknown to me. Hey, I'm pretty sure this is the last stage I could play, and after this I died. This stage is also kinda tricky because if you go all the way down, like you, you, you don't go to the right place. And you need to like backtrack a little bit. Another thing that this stage has for some reason is a lot of places where those bugs spawn infinitely. And those shits are already annoying as they are, but you can imagine that having them span spawn infinitely is an even bigger pain in the ass. An even bigger one. Five multiplier. I don't think the multipliers are that important. I mean, if you're a hardcore scorer, if they even exist for this game, I guess. But like, the most amount of score you get is for the for the end of stage. For the end of stage, <laughs> pretty much. The end of stage bonuses give you a lot more, and I'm pretty sure the multiplier doesn't even apply there. Yeah. Ah, uh, these bugs are beautiful. Damn, they throw bombs too, I didn't know that. <laughs> I know that they only charge at you, but it seems like they are also equipped with fucking bombs. That's interesting. Okay, so here comes the boss. The boss, as I said, are in reality three bosses. The first one, I'm not really sure how the patterns of this guy work. It, he works in weird ways, like he goes up and down. Kinda hard to know exactly what his trajectory is. Sometimes he also only stays up. Yeah, it's hard to tell. At least to me. This other boss is free because you're supposed to hit him and when you hit him he kinda goes insane. You're supposed to jump over him after he's done. You know? Like, this is the boss. You're just supposed to do this over and over again. So it's not a problem. As long as you know that you're supposed to do that. Pretty sure he's also invincible during the... Well, I'm not sure if he's invincible. But just to avoid triggering him twice, it's probably better to not spam too much. But yeah, he might be invincible during that. I don't know. And again, this attempt is dead because I'm... One hit away from dead anyways. And there is still one more boss. Yeah, bugs, bad chest, I agree. Wait, is this healing? It is! Oh! This guy likes grabbing the ceiling. Oh, he also likes shooting. Interesting. I guess as long as I keep my distance, I should be more or less fine. I guess stay in the corner and shoot him when he's not close to you. You should be more or less fine. So 
here stay there. Yeah, it's a good thing that he doesn't reach all the way to the corner. When are you dying, mister? Or maybe I need to also hit him in the ground. Oh wow. Nice. Yeah, it seems that you also need to hit him in the ground. Okay, that went well. Wasn't expecting to survive that attempt. Oh, and there were 20 seconds left on the clock. I wasn't even paying attention to it. So what comes now? Whirling Center. Interesting name. Whirling Center. That sounds powerful. The Whirling Center, huh? I'm not sure what it's supposed to mean. But... Uh oh. We have some television with the big bad guy. Why do we have that? Why is he doing a, a transmission of his ugly face? How the flight power up. Well, can go much further than this, it seems. Hmm. There are a lot of those bugs. You don't really have. Oh, I didn't even see this turret. What is this, a bomb? Where am I supposed to detonate it here? Yeah, apparently. Nice, and a turret just says hello. Uh, come on, really? The damn beginning of the stage. Well, that also means that all the power-ups that I picked up are gone. But it's okay. Wait, am I supposed to go left? Oh, nice. Nice, I got the shotgun. I also think the way that weapons in this game work is by usage. It's not by time. So for example here, since I'm not using this thing, it's not being consumed. Wait, I don't think I'm even supposed to go down here with how slow it's going. What now? Hmm. Wait, is this not the right place? Wait, but if this is not the right place, then which one is it? Is it supposed to go back? Wait, but I cannot go back. Wait, did I miss an opening? Not sure. Where is this? Yeah, I'm a little bit confused here. Oh. You know, the worst part is that I did that last time. I just completely forgot that I did. Well, now since the TV is not gonna be there. I'm assuming that I can only get the bomb to go up. I probably should go this way. Ah. 
No. Well, this thing is broken anyways. It seems like I can go up. I have to go here. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a drill. Uh, this is here. And what's in here? A turret. Could try this. I like that turrets are enemies that are pretty much in every stage. Because they can be annoying when you don't see them, but otherwise it's not that big of a deal to, to destroy them, you know. I was gonna say to kill them, but I don't think turrets have lives. Wait a second. I can go all the way up here. And I land up there. Well, I guess so, because if I couldn't... Okay, how are you not dead? Whatever, we're gonna die now. Wow, that shit is spinning very fast. It's hard to move between these things. supposed to go up, am I? Doesn't seem like I can anyways. I know, it seems that it's better to just go down. Oh, or not, since there doesn't seem to be anything to the right of this. Maybe here, then up here, and then little bit more to the top oh, and then go down again now it will be a problem if they don't give me a checkpoint on this stage because the amount of shit I will need to redo will be bad so something that will be even better is if there is no boss I doubt that I will die normally. You should never say never, but... Wait, how the fuck do I get out of here? In the first place. This is an absolute labyrinth. Hmm. Not here, maybe... But I, oh, I need to keep going. But didn't I go all the way down? I guess. Let's make sure we go all the way down. Oh, it seems to be here. Ah, uh, oh, please tell me. Oh, nice. The checkpoint is right here. Well, I'm glad. Or wait, is it right there? I can't tell. All these places look so similar. No, I think it wasn't exactly there. Like, this is slightly... Uh, earlier. Well, at least it's better than... Redoing the whole stage, you know? But yeah, I think this is earlier. Yeah, this stage is an absolute labyrinth. Very hard to navigate. But you know, I think this is the place where I died. Right? Yeah, th this is where I died. Oh, th that guy came from off the screen, so I cannot even blame myself for that. Wait, do I need to go all the way up? Here. Nice. At least the stage doesn't have a boss. Alright, what else we can expect in this uh, godforsaken world?
Uh oh, twist and shout. Oh, like the Beatles. That's a cool song. So something tells me we're getting close to the end. We're in a tornado. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the big bad. He's just swinging his arms like a maniac. Which obviously in a game like this is very effective because it's hard to dodge. Oh, I need that healing, but it's so far. Yeah, that, that, that one is hard to, to get. Alright. Every time that you retry, you retry from the bottom. Well, it's not like it's particularly hard to, to dodge all this garbage, but... Seems that I can stand on the right side. He doesn't seem to swing the arms on the right side for some reason. He's not smart enough. Oh, now you leave the the healing there in a place that I can actually get it when I'm full health. So one thing that is worth noting is that you don't have too much time to beat him. I mean, you have more time than a lot of other stages, but a lot of other boss stages, I mean. So yeah, it will be better. So I guess you shouldn't be that careful. Wait, oh, I win. <laughs> well, that was fast. <laughs> Did we beat the game? Is that the end of Vector Man? I like how he's doing the double horns while flying on a rooftop. In Warhead is vanquished, the Earth is safe for the return of humanity. Earth has a new hero, Vector Man. Him, so I actually did win. Alright. Pretty pretty cool. Well, that's a uh, vector man. Uh, you know that I remember when I was a kid, and there is a uh, <laughs> that guy is called Marsh. But you know, I remember when I was a kid, like I beat this game by going to a debug mode where you go to like a stage select. And when you reach the end, the game calls you a cheater, and it doesn't show you the credits, and it doesn't tell you're a hero. The game tells you you're a fucking cheater. So that's pretty funny to actually see the real ending. She, she, thanks, thanks. It's a cool game. I mean, I guess that's the, the main thing about the game. The game is like, like the... This thing is called Aurora Borealis, but I didn't see any Aurora there. These are some weird names for sure. But yeah, the, the game's focus is clearly being cool and rad. Well, in fact, the, the difficulty name that I played is called Wicked, you know? So obviously, and considering this game release in 1995, it's pretty clear that the idea of the game is to capitalize in that punk, cool, rad attitude of the 90s, right? It's very, very clear. Uh, it's a shame that, well, at least to me, the second game didn't really feel, like, uh, feel uh, that good. It really felt the opposite of good. <laughs> but yeah, th this game is cool. Oh shit, and these people are the developers? Rich, Marty, Amber, and Mark B. Are you gonna have pictures of all the devs? Or, or are those all the devs? Oh, okay, th th there seem to be more credits. Yeah, Amber. Yeah, she became a Genesis programmer, of course. But no, see, yeah, Amber Long. Well, there you have it. You can look her up, Amber Long. 
But yeah. It's interesting, you know that... When I think about it, almost no game shows you the picture of the developers in the credits. They should show the names. Most of the times you, you never see them unless it's in like an extra. But this game straight up shows you the picture of those four guys. So that's interesting. Doesn't seem like that many people made this game though. Obviously, considering that it's backed by SEGA, it's not an indie game. But it might be like the equivalent of, for example, Shantai, right? Shantai is also not an indie game. It, at least back then it was backed by Capcom, but... It seems like it's the type of game that is made by a small team, but back with the money of a big company, like in this case, SEGA. And in Shantai case, uh, Capcom, right? That's interesting, uh, but it's a it's a very cool game for sure. Um, I wonder what the hardest difficulty has, but probably either more damage or or shit like that. So the final score is five hundred forty-one thousand hundred and forty. Uh, that 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 is the the final score. Oh, and also. Since I'm here, might as well show you the easter egg where you can blow up the, the TV screen and... Wait, I blew up the TV screen but... Oh, you need to pick up the power up and then... Yeah, that. And then you destroy SEGA. This game lets you destroy SEGA. So if for some reason you get very salty while playing the game, you can just go to... To, to the SEGA screen and destroy SEGA. Not many games let you do that, you know. So you, you gotta be grateful. But yeah, let me show you. As you can see, the difficulty is weak. It's the normal mode. The easy mode is lame, normal is weak, and hard is insane. But yeah, this was beaten in a wicked mode. But you know, regardless of that, that's gonna be... It. Uh, for me, for, well, Vectorman, so uh, she, she's for Vectorman.